now. She's uh, trying to get uh, like. Um... <laughs> Well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, honestly, we're new at this and we did record everything, but the audio is pretty much unusable. There's just too much echoing inside. So we thought we'd do a quick little video just to show you the final steps we did to finish up the coop here. Um, a lot of this was rushed because it was the end of the year. Um, it's starting to get cold. We weren't sure when the snow was gonna fall and we went from free ranging our birds daily to having to kind of keep a closer eye on them since we had lost uh, three of our chickens to predators just the week prior. So we were really in full gear and we had to finish this up and we needed to finish the upside run as well. So this is our first time building one this large where, you know, the roosting is very important because you have a lot of birds that you need to kind of just have proper places for and they need room and you know there's clicks in in the chicken world so some hens may not like others they need room to move and everything like that um so we did this we thought we'd give it a, a quick try see what it would look like and if we want to we can change it all up in the in the spring or the summer or whenever it's super easy everything was a screws so honestly it was just let's get something up get something comfortable and safe for the birds and then that way we can work on the outside a little bit more water uh, proofing everything and making sure that everyone will be safe this winter and warm. The Canadian winters generally are pretty pretty cold now they're saying that this winter is going to be uh, much warmer than normal so we'll see what ends up happening. What we're doing here is we're cutting the cross members that the uh, chickens will actually be roosting on at night. We went and grabbed a bunch of trees kind of that we've cut down we're clearing a lot of land right now. Um, Katrina wanted to use the circular saw, she loves that thing, um, but the chainsaw is just so much quicker. Frank, on the other hand, hates it, so we had to do a little bit of creative cutting here. So we found a bunch of pieces around, around the sides. You don't want them too big because it can be actually kind of hard on the birds, and you don't want them too small either because you don't want them fully gripping around. So we found some nice ones, and what we've noticed is that there are no real preferences. Uh, the birds seem to like all of this very well. Um, I mean, I, I, we personally believe that this is more ideal than using a 2x4. 2x4s are more consistent, but less natural. And I feel like the chicken's feet have kind of evolved to be on, you know, something round rather than flat. So this is what we're going with for now. We'll see how it works out. We're just trying to figure out the best way, Katrina doing some bicep curls there, the best way to put them up. Uh, we were just screwing them in before, and we're honestly we're running low on supplies at this point. We want to make sure that we can get the birds in. So what we ended up doing was drilling basically a large pilot hole and then using the screw to be able to sink it in about halfway. And then that made it pretty secure. Uh, there's a couple of them where we needed to do, I think, one or two little kind of toenail uh, screws put in. But honestly, it's been good. I'm recording this audio later on and, and it's been several weeks and there's been no issues, no movement, nothing's been broken. The dogs have been in there doing everything as well and it's been going quite well, honestly. So here we are just finishing up the last little bits here, getting ready to kind of call it a night, which is nice. Uh, we, I think, put in about four bags of wood shavings at the end of this uh, and made it nice and warm for the birds. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched this. I know it was really quick and hopefully in the spring we'll be able to do a much longer, more detailed explanation of how we did everything. There you go, bud. So we're a few weeks later and I wanted to just show you guys what it looks like it's been lived in for a while. The chickies love it. I even, we, we ended up, I put it in the box. I think I lost the footage for that but uh, they love it. <clears throat> it's been working really well. Uh, we get about 12 on each kind of rung, uh, which is tons of room for everybody who comes in here. And uh, yeah, so far so good. We gotta, we're gonna fix up the roof. This is just a temporary roof for now, but we're gonna fix this up and uh, we should be good. Everyone seems to love it. The chickies are happy and uh, nice and warm in here. 
Thanks for tuning in everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching Katrina and I finish up this chicken coop really quick. Stay tuned, we're gonna be doing some more updates this spring with windows and some more fun stuff. Thank you everyone, bye.